Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to set up a free load balancer using CAMP. So are you ready? Let's get started. So on one of my previous videos I showed you how to set up load balancer using the Nginx web server. Okay. But in this video, I will show you actually how to use a free one from Cap Technologies called Camp. So, what is first a load balancer? So, a load balancer actually is a process that allows you to distribute tasks to different uh, resources. So, in this example, we'll be using actually web servers as an example. Okay. So. In my lab, I have actually three web servers and I want to use this load, ser load balancer in order to distribute the load to these three web servers, okay? So first thing first, let's install this load balancer. So you go to your web browser actually and you type freeloadbalancers.com. So this is from Camp Technologies. So here you can see free load master load balancer, okay? And if we go down, you can see the different features for this camp load balancers, okay? So it support uh, different hypervisors like VMware, Hyper-V, KVM, Xen, and Oracle Virtual Box, okay? It can also be installed in the cloud with Azure or EWS okay it has some limitations but it's work great if you have let's say some small web servers for example and you want to use this load master load balancer okay so if you want to download it actually all you have to do is to register first and they will send you an email with the license key and all that stuff so you can download the image and actually when you are downloaded the image you choose which hypervisor you'll be using okay so you can download it for vmware hypervisor or hyper v for microsoft so me i have actually vmware and the installation is pretty straightforward so i'm not going to show you how to do that because it's simple as booting image Actually, it's Linux distributions, Linux pack. So let's go to my uh, hypervisor here. So here, as you can see, I'm using uh, VMware ESXi and I install it. So when the process is finished, you get this window with your login and actually your default uh, password, okay? Which is so the login is by default ball and the password is one for all so after you enter you all you have to do is to set up the IP address so you can actually access this load balancer using the web page so I will show you so this is the web page you get when you install the load balancer okay so I give it here uh, 192 dot 168.1.115 but you can give whatever IP address you have on your network and I will log in here using my credentials of course you can set up set up that later if you want so this is your load master or your load balancer so here you have the IP address and also the boot time and some information like the CPU load and uh, interfaces and by default you have two interfaces as you can see here you have ETH0 and ETH1 so the ETH1 is actually uh, attached to your normal network and ETH1 or ETH0 sorry for your normal network and ETH1 is the interface facing your servers so in this case it's facing three web servers okay so in order to configure the IP addresses for for example for ETH1 you go to your system configuration 
network setup and here you have your interfaces so as you can see eth1 so this is the ip address in your local network and eth1 which is the interface facing your servers so me actually i have uh, set up three web servers three apache web servers that has as ip addresses 172.16.0.17 okay so this, this is the first one the second one 172.16.0.17 uh, and another one 172.16.0.18 so i have three apache web servers and i will try here to create a load balancer that will actually forward traffic to the web servers okay so when you set up your interfaces here the next thing is to create a virtual service so you go here to your virtual services add new okay and here you give it whatever ip address or virtual ip address you want so let me for example choose 192.168.1 that uh, 117 for example okay so i will leave the default port as 80 and the protocol as ctp tcp okay so this is the ip address that will be accessible in your network so i will add this virtual address okay so here you can see this is the ip address and let's actually try to connect to it so we we'll get nothing because you didn't configure anything okay so you can see this site cannot be reached so let's return to our load balancer so now we have to add our web servers so here you go to your real servers and you choose your protocol and you choose also the ip addresses of your servers so let me add my real servers so i will click here on add new and i will add the ip address of my real servers so as i told you i have three so that's 16 so i will leave the default port because it's web server so i will leave the default and i will add this real server okay so it has been added let's add another one so this is your real servers actually and the last one and i will hit okay so as you can see here my three web servers has been added so we can verify the connection so if you return to home so here you can see now the status of your virtual service is 100% and the three real servers are actually up you can also go to statistics real servers and you will see that so you can see here they are enabled by default okay Or you can go to re statistics real-time statistics and you click you click on real servers so you can see the status of our three servers they are up so remember we have set up a virtual address let me show you so you go to view or modify services so, so this is my or the IP address of my load balancer and here you can see the real servers I have three and now let's see if it, that works if that works normally it should redirect us to this web servers so let's connect so here you go you can see that now it has redirected me to the web server 01 so if I refresh now I have actually access to web server 2 and we can refresh now it redirect to server 3 so each time it will redirect us to another web server okay so this is what we call round robin algorithm and you can configure that algorithm actually if you return back to your uh, 
Camp Load Balancer View and Modify and click Modify Okay, you go to your standard options and here you can see the scheduling method so there are a lot of methods you can use with this load balancer so you can choose the default one which is round robin but there are also weighted round robin least connection so here it will redirect the traffic to the least connection web server okay so you have also weighted list connection you have resource best fixed with it waiting actually source ip hash ur hash so there are a lot of methods that you can use your with your load balancer but normally the first one you choose works well we choose road robin so there are a lot of options you can configure but here i will stick with the default one okay and if you disable let's say for example you want to make some maintenance of some servers so let me deactivate disable this uh, server here that's 17 so now it's been disabled so let's see that in real time so you can see it's disabled so now if we return back to our load balancer normally we should not get access to web server 2 because this is the IP address of web server 2 normally it should just redirect us to web server 1 and web server 3 let's verify that here we go we are server 1 1 1 so sometimes it takes some time to get IP address but normally we should not get so you can see it has not shown server 2 just server 1 and server 3 here we go server 1 once again and you can see all the statistics if you return here back real-time statistics and real servers you can see how many connections on this column here total connection so for server 1 it has 4 for server 2 which we has disabled it has only two connections and for server 3 we have now three connections okay so this is a free lifetime load balancer you can use in production it has some limitations but it works great and has many different options you can configure whatever you want okay so here I'll return to the home so you can see here actually a uh, brief summary of your server with IP address and with the load and status of your virtual service so that was just a brief introduction to the load balancer how to use it and how you can configure a simple load balancer using the round robin scheduling method as always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.